going to be talking about steel bikes a fair bit today, so uh, that seems like the appropriate choice to bring to work. Uh, not to mention, I think it's probably uh, everyone's favorite Spindat bike at the moment. I know it's mine. day my friend Colin called uh, actually he calls he calls me every day uh, just to talk and uh, he called with an idea that he uh, that he wanted to see and uh, and he called with this idea oh god this idea where he's like why don't you once a week like feature a cool bike in town um, something that I, I've wanted to do for a while, but uh, now that I've heard someone else say, hey, this is a good idea, it's now validated, and I'm gonna start doing that. Uh, which segues beautifully into what's going on today, where uh, my friend Brent, who you've seen before, he's got his cool steel gravel bike here that we wanna do a crank upgrade to, and I think it's like the perfect bike to start that off with. Uh, there is a couple things that do need to be done here. I mean, I have time. I have time this morning before we open the store to actually like get that done. Um, but first, there was a bike that came in last night, uh, and it was it, it was pretty messed up. And uh, I guess it had been in an accident. That's blood. Everyone is fine. This is Brent's gravel bike. Excuse the mess back here. It's where I hide everything. It's where I hide everything so you guys don't see how messy it gets. Now, now Brent is hilarious because he's he's actually kind of he's kind of like the the anti Eric. He's so, He's so much the opposite of pretty much everything I say on this channel when it comes to like parts on a bike. It might be somewhat apparent in the few times that Brent has been in the videos talking about like upgrading the crank set on his bike or like wanting a different set of wheels. He's always kind of like, oh, I need a, a different bike or I need to do this to it. Um, and today is no exception because on his Tamland, he has just a normal set of FSA Gossamers and he like, he just cannot stand it. So he actually went and bought these because, uh, because, because whose who's gravel bike that they don't ride nearly enough doesn't need a set of uh, Altegra, Altegra cranks. So anyway, I told him that I would have these done for him uh, by the time he gets in. And if I didn't, I think it would kind of ruin the idea I have for like, how I want this vlog to flow, so I need to get it done before he gets here. properly assembled with grease and isn't beat to hell. Maintained bikes come apart so much easier than old beat bikes. Although Brent, the, the lack of, of grit and mud and grossness in this, it's sort of depressing. You need to ride this bike more often. Something I see people do with 
with Shimano uh, crank sets every so often, especially when I'm like taking them off, is they put this bolt with hair on it. Uh, they put this like compression bolt on with every bit of force that they can. That is wrong. That is not what you want to do. Shimano crank sets don't have a stepped lip on the spindle or anything, so if you tighten it down too hard, you preload the bearings and you ruin them. You, um, so these are supposed to go on just like you know, finger tight. There's really not supposed to be any any force to them really at all. I think the reading is yeah, 0.7 to 1.5 newton meters. That's uh, that's very close to nothing. So if you're a home mechanic and you're putting Shimano crank sets on. Keep that in mind. Maybe you read the uh, the instructions, but this really does not need to go on tight, like at all. Like that's about it. Done. Now, as much of a of a SRAM guy as I am, I have to say I I do like the way this looks. Brent. Yes. How happy are you with uh, with this? Pleasantly surprised. That you, that you bought a crank set and it's on your bike? Mm, yes, but also that it looks as good as it does and that it is light as it is. Well, we haven't taken it out of the stand yet, so... No, but... Oh, I should have weighed it first. Yeah, well, I kind of thought that might have been part of the... I don't think part. like that because I just don't care. <laughs> now, typically, if one of my friends or one of the teammates of Ideal Bikes uh, comes into the store and like work is going to be done on their bike I typically force them to do it themselves because I feel they should be able to do their own stuff uh, But in this case uh, For the sake of making this particular portion of the video that I want to do uh, I wanted to get this done Earlier because it's something that excites me and I get to benefit from it by making a video of it Is that selfish? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but I mean, it also gives us the opportunity to shoot. Now I'm going to take a chance with this video because I don't know that it's going to get a ton of views and uh, YouTube ad revenue, whatever. But there's a song that I've been wanting to use for like a scene like what I'm about to shoot. So I'm going to go for it and we'll see what ends up happening. Don't yeah, fuck yeah, with me no more, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know she ain't fucking with them. She saying she need a best friend. Oh, you know why you been so quick to leave? She saying that I be the man. I'm doing like all that I can. Yeah, I'm doing like all that I can. Oh, why you been so quick to leave? She saying that I be the man. Yeah, put you in front and you fuck with the numbers now. Yeah, don't get me wrong, you know we on the come up now And don't get me down Know that she gets so aroused I can't tell you what you will see Only be here for the now Hold up, hold up Get to how to stay focused, yeah Grandma know that I try to Through all the days of feeling hopeless I can't give a fuck if they don't like the truth And at a 24 inside the booth You feel it first when you hear them rap I don't play around with you No, you don't hear about that, no, yeah all of that fake shit go out of the window, I think that they know, yeah Just wanna kick back when I'm playing Nintendo, that's all that I know Just need to get high while I'm under the trees, I need somewhere to breathe Fuck, like why you gon' leave? Mama, I know what you need And no, she ain't fucking with them Alright, very high hopes that that turned out half decent Let me know what you think about the bike check segment of the vlog And the idea of doing it weekly and let me know if you'd prefer that I sit beside it and give you the parts instead of it coming up the way that I had it come up. Um, if you're wondering how I got some of those shots, remember I said I didn't know how to use this? I kind of figured it out. I have it like, like sort of, just sort of figured out. So that is sort of the idea. That is a little bit of the premise of like what I want to do for featuring bikes, something like that. Um, also, also, something I want to do and I've always wanted to do is like a Q&A. I want to do like a Q&A show, but I feel weird asking it on Instagram because I've got like all my friends on there. So uh, if you have like questions that I could do a Q&A with, um, leave them at the bottom of this video and I'll use it 
to do like a Q&A episode. And uh, last time, uh, the way I finished a video, I asked you what you thought of my glasses and, and no one said anything. So I'll ask again, what do you think of my new glasses? Friday night, so uh, I imagine Angela and I will have some pretty crazy plans for the evening. Like, hanging out with the dog. Oh.